I am going to be partaking in a draft with 48 teams in the league. I feel like I haven't used the custom franchise feature in forever, so kind of excited to be honest, but we're gonna find out what team we're using right now. It is the Toronto Maple Leafs. Select mode, don't mind if I do. Custom league. And all I'm gonna be doing is making it the max amount of teams. That's it. I also kind of want to change the playoff format now that I think about it. Eight teams qualify per division, which means 32 teams get in. Yeah, why not? It took a while for the game to load this screen, which is a little bit concerning. I can't lie. Jabroni, I severely doubt it. There's 16 more spots, so that means my chance of predicting which draft pick we have is going to be astronomically lower, but I am gonna go with a top 10 pick for some reason. I'll say nine. And we get number 28. Hey, at least we're in, you know, the first round of the regular NHL. We haven't extended beyond that. So we got Igor Tage, Rasmus Dahlin, and now it is our pick. Who should we take? So many options. Quinn Hughes, Captain Quinn? You know what? I'm gonna do it. We're going with Jimmy Superstar. He's got the X Factor now. I don't think he had one in NHL 23. But anyway, 8.3. Fine by me. Although he's a two-way forward, I feel like he gets a lot of points for some reason. So I'm really tempted to take Marshy to play with Jim. You know what? Yeah, I'm going to do it. There is still some really good players here. Pavelski, I could just have a stacked first line in terms of abilities. But I feel like I have an obligation to take a defenseman right now. The fact that Morgan Riley is still here is very tempting to me. Yeah. I'm going to fall to my intrusive thought. And I will also be grabbing a goalie right now before it's too late. Jari does not have any abilities. That is super unfortunate. Georgiev does at 86. And he's only making 3.4. Sorry, Jari. We do not have a sniper on the first line yet. Everly has two abilities. And he's a right wing sniper. So let's try it out. I feel like Evander Kane would be good for the second line. Power forward. Sure, why not? Congratulations, Jeff. You are going to be playing with none other than Maury on the first pair. I remember seeing a comment that someone thought Blake Wheeler was going to be the new David Krejci in this game. So let's put that theory to the test. I, for one, am going to draft Nikita Zadorov. Be a good start to our second defensive pair. And for my next selection, I will be taking Tyson Yost. 81 overall. Marcus Foligno for some depth there. Grinder. I'm into it. $35 million of cap space. You know what? I'm going to draft Tyler Myers just for fun. Yo, TJ Sochi got an ability back. I feel like he lost them all in NHL 23, didn't he? Leller has an ability as well. And he's a centerman. We need depth center, so yeah. Wait, what? Corey Perry signed a $4 million deal? How'd he pull that off? The man, the myth, the legend, Phil the Thrill. Hot dog Phil will be a depth goal scorer for us, I guess. There's actually still some decent goalies here. I am going to select Spencer Martin. Why, you ask? Don't know. All right, I know what I gotta do. Physicality. Ryan Reeves, what's his overall, 78? Good enough for me. And we will go ahead and draft Milan Lucic. 79 overall, making 1 million now, that is much better. Yeah, I'll give this Dakota Joshua guy a go. 78 overall. Could be our fourth line center. Perfect. I want to draft this guy, but I have no idea how to pronounce his name, and that could be a problem. But I'll still draft him. Jonathan Kovacevic. Cool. All right, we're seeing some new names here. I'm into it. And on that note, we will sim the entire draft and go ahead and put these lines together. Hopefully we have some chemistry. Wait, what? This isn't our team. I am confused. I see they brought Schmid back. There we are. Toronto Maple Leafs. We got Jimmy. Our team looks sick. I can't lie. I think we're going to go on a run. Moment of truth. Edit the lines. Our first line will definitely have chemistry. Wow. Okay. And no. How about you don't touch my lines, Jabroni? So fun fact, we have roll four lines. If I move Felino down, then this becomes a plus one and this is a zero. So I will be doing that. I'm glad that our second line has a plus one too. That's huge. Defense. Okay. We can work with this. Mm. Yeah. 
give Kovacevic a shot. Oh, I just realized he's a left defenseman that shoots right. So that explains... No, it doesn't explain that. Never mind. Well, 2-1-0. We got the countdown. And in net, we've got Alexander. Backed up by Spencer. We're going to be a good team. Honestly, I don't know how many wins to predict because it is a 48-team league. I think we're still playing the 82 games. I don't know. I have entered the calendar. It is time to get this show on the road. I can just feel how much slower the simulation is because we added those extra teams. This game is struggling. This feels like an NHL 2007 dynasty mode simulation. Or wait, were those really fast? No, I think 06 on the GameCube was like lightning fast and then 07 was horrifically slow. I could be lying about that though. I know there was some games that were slow, like the Xbox 360 for some reason just did not sim fast. Our squadron is buzzing. We are currently atop the division and showing no signs of slowing down. Assuming it is still 82 games, which I imagine it is, I can't really predict how many wins we're going to get now because that's kind of cheating, but I will say that Jimmy has the most points and I'll say he has... You know what, let's aim high. I'll say 91. We have reached the trade deadline. I am going to, I don't know, keep our trade block, I guess, because I don't plan to do anything, but let's enter the deadline and see which players are available. We've got Jared Spurgeon as the top. A lot of defensemen. Hayes, 85, Graves. Okay, you know what? There is some good players, but there's no superstars on the block. The fact that we have 44 wins at the deadline is insane. We're 100% getting past 50. Louis Domingue, available on waivers. No. Okay, or we can just have a classic post-trade deadline collapse. We are on a five-game losing streak, finally. And then we follow that up with currently a four-game win streak, but we could extend that here. Will we is the question. No, is your answer. Will we get 52 wins? Yes, we do. We take down the pity pens, and then we have... The St. Louis Blues. That doesn't seem right. So in Division 1, the Rangers led. 51 wins, 110 points. What about the entire league? Wow, the Ducks went off. Who's on their team? No, it did work. We have a bunch of teams qualifying here. But yeah, I gotta go see who's on the Ducks. They have Ovi, Matthews, and Arturi Lekkinen. Okay. Landy on the second line with Shen and Nason. They do have a good team. Credit where it's due. Very solid defensively. Truba and Fowler. Fair. And in net. Okay. I don't know how they got as many wins as they did. But clearly they know something that I do not. Stutzla did not get a bunch of points. But Bradley sure did. 91. And how about it? Whoever said that could be right. Blake Wheeler up to 86 overall. 64 points on the second line. Making less than a mil. Insane. I'm going to draft him every draft for this entire game's duration. Both goalies did all right. 44, 21, and 3 with 7 shutouts. A 9, 18. And they both had a 247. 8, 5, and 1 for Spencer. DeSmith led the league. A 9, 20 save percentage. Georgiev is right there, though. And then Markstrom's up there as well. Eric Carlson put up 115 points. That is sick. What a certified mad lad. Dougie Hamilton with 96. Fox, 95. Like, did he win the Art Ross or did some forwards go off as well? He won the Art Ross. Eric Carlson had the most points in the entire league. 102 assists. Holy. I'm also just now realizing that the 99 overall player I made is still available. Haven't deleted them. Didn't really affect anything, though. Okay, so this is how we have to look at the playoffs. Wow. A lot of teams. First up is the St. Louis Blues. So, let's see who they have. Huberto, we should win this. This should be an easy win. Oh. Maybe not. Yeah, come on. We got this. There's no way we lose. 41, 33, and 8. All right, well... I am so confident I am just simming right past the entire series. We are winning. Don't you dare. Okay. Yes. That's more like it. Let's keep it going. No. Yes. No. Did you have to make it that close? 
Did ya? Next up is the Los Angeles Kings. They got Nate Max, so that's scary. Playing with Turbo and Matt Duchesne. Manji Apane with Novak and Shiri. The Cup Breaker with Captain Lowry and Miles Wood. Defensively. Okay. What about a net? Ooh. That could be an issue. I do still like our chances, so... I am confidently simming the entire series again here. They did have me in the first half, not gonna lie. The updated playoff tree. We're going against Dallas in the quarterfinals. Did Anaheim make it? Are they still going? Nope, they're done. In fact, they were dusted in the first round. In five games. Okay, Dallas. Burakovsky with Kempe and Pavel. I still feel like we're way better than this team. They do have Owen Power and Latang. Yeah, okay. The apparently Walmart Eric Carlson, <laughs> if you know that reference. And they got the nervous guy in net. So yeah, easy win. He's gonna get too nervous and he's gonna collapse. Big dub. Let's go Leafs. That's a good start. We are currently winning the series. We're in the semifinals here. And we will be taking on the 46 win Edmonton Oilers. Also, how about Marchie? 24 points in 18 games. Okay, view lines as you do. And we gotta go find out if this Edmonton team is something to be... Well, I mean, to be fair, we should be scared because they made it this far. Wow. So they brought back McDusty, who is 98 overall. He's playing with Line A and ADB. Weren't they... Were they eerie teammates? I feel like they were. Nick Paul playing with Nas and Besser. They got some decent depth here as well defensively. Okay, they're not great defensively. We just gotta try and outscore them, I guess. Let's take this one three games and see what happens. Okay. I am confident they're not gonna win the next two. Well... I didn't say I was guaranteeing it, I just said I was confident. And clearly, my confidence was incorrect. Smashville wins the Stanley Cup. I can't view their lines, but we can go check the players based on their stats. All right, Smashville, you had Crosby, so well played there. You also had Pavelski, I was going to draft him, and didn't. He ends up putting up 87. Lindholm was 79. Holy, yeah, that first line is ridiculous. Then they got DeBrusque, Moore, 83. He put up 64 points. Danton Heinen. Keandre Miller also did insane. Markstrom was huge. Almost a 920 save percentage and 42 wins. Farlamov. Did not do so hot. Morgan Riley over point a game? And so was Blake Wheeler. This guy's insane. Evander Kane. Marchie did have 28 though. Let's see how our goalies did. Or goalie. Yep, can't blame him. Played very, very well. Markstrom had a 930 in the playoffs. That is unheard of. We also see that from Aiden Hill here. But yeah, these top three. That save percentage is crazy considering how many games they played. Riley led defenseman. With just 23 games. I guess Latang had 19 in 17, but still. And your Con Smythe winner, Sidney the Kidney. McDavid had 32 points in 29 games. Pavelski was point a game. So was Nas. Marchie's up there. So we did well. And there's Riley. Team trophies, there's just these two. And individually, Eric Carlson with the Art Ross, but somehow Matthews ends up with the heart. He also gets the Norris and the Lady Bang. Kurt Dangle with the Calder, no surprises there. Sydney with the Con Smythe, as we said. Saros gets the Vesna, whereas the Smith gets the Jennings. Yeah, that's right. He played on Anaheim, who had an insane season. Osterley takes home the Bill Masterton. Stepan with the Jack Adams. Kopitar, because of course, Matthews. And last but not least, Kirill the Thrill. Well, here you go. Your very massive playoff tree that ended in a Smashville Edmonton final. And obviously the Preds went on to win the Stanley Cup. So yeah, that was actually pretty fun. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know how you're enjoying NHL 24 in the comments. And honestly, you should try this draft. It is a good time. So if you have the game, give it a go. Let me know how it turns out for you. But on that note, thank you for watching. I appreciate you and I'll see you soon.